In this video we're going to be looking at how to use macros to check to see if the age is within a certain range. In this case we're going to make sure the age is less than, uh, or sorry, if the age is less than 15 we don't want to save the record and we want to display some form of error message. Now in the previous video we'd already created a macro so I'm going to click on my save button and I'm going to click on the macro builder um, as I've already built one. As you see, I already have checked to see if the um, date of birth, first name, last name have been entered. If they haven't, it's going to display an error message. If they have, at the moment, all I'm doing is saving a record. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to add another bit of code. And I'm going to click on the else first. And I'm going to click on an if. Okay, so I'm going to add another if statement. Now notice that my if statement is in the else part of my previous if statement. So what I really want to say is, okay, if the fields have been filled in, I then want to check to see if the age is less than 15. So I've got my if statement here, and I'm going to click on the little wizard icon, and I'm going to choose my age. Okay, age box here. So double click on that. And if it's less than 15, okay, so if it is less than 15, what I want to do is display message. Okay, and the message I want to display is essentially you must be at least 15 to register. Okay, it's a kind of basic message. Once you have done that, you can add an else to this if statement. And all I'm going to do with the else is I'm going to drag the commands I had before, the message box and the save command. So looking at this in a bit more detail, I'm going to just hide this part of the if statement. You can see if these things have been filled in, it's going to jump to the else. If the age is less than 15, it's going to display an error message. Otherwise, it will display record saved and actually physically save. If I save this, close it, and give it a go, if I press save initially, error message comes up. So I can put in a first name, as I would do normally. So Bert Smith, press save. I haven't put my date of birth in yet, so I've got to put date of birth in. Okay, and then I'm going to set that to maybe 2007. That will set the age to be 7, click on save. You must be at least 15 treasures. Notice it's giving you a different error message this time. I'm going to then change this to be 1976. That way the age is definitely going to be greater than 15. I press save, and as you can see, it gives you the correct message. 